Good afternoon, this is Pamela Bluewater for JS Biblical Productions. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, Jesus tells his disciples a story of why they should keep on praying and never give up. Today, we have a girl in our studio who said she was searching for one true love with whom she could live happily ever after. Welcome to JNS, Trudy Goody. Hi. Hi, it's so good to have you here. So, Trudy, you asked to come to JNS to tell us your story, and what is it that you want us to hear? Well, I, I own a shelter, uh, mostly for stray and abandoned dogs, and um, I actually own one of those dogs. Um, I, it's a little mixed breed, I'm not sure what it is, but anyway, one day, this young man, Tom, walked in and he was looking for a dog that he could love and cuddle with because his old dog got run over by a dump truck. It was so sad, and then they couldn't even find, enough, they couldn't scrape enough of them off the road to even have a oh decent gosh. burial. So anyway, so he came in looking for a dog, and I recommended this blonde cocker spaniel here. Come here, come here. Oh, come here. Yeah. I recommended this blonde cocker spaniel here because they're so loving and friendly and kind, they're, and they're great with children. They barely ever bite or bark, and just such a great dog. All right, I bet something is going to happen. Yes, yes, something did happen. But before I tell you about that, I want to tell you about how much I love prayer. I believe in prayer so much. And so there are these two prayers in particular that I that I really believe in, and one is uh, Luke 18.1 that talks about persistence in prayer, and the other one is Matthew 18.20 that talks about faith. And in that one, that's when Jesus said, but I tell you this, if you have the faith as small as a mustard seed, you could tell this mountain to move from here to there, and it will move nothing will be impossible for you. And then something happened? Yes, something did happen. I'd been praying, been praying for that one true love that everyone wishes for and dreams of. And then Tom comes and walks into the shelter looking, looking for a little dog. And his dog and my little dog, this little black and white mixed breed named Mute, Newt, <laughs> uh, they just got along so well, and we really hit it off too. And we bonded over dogs and our love for animals, and the shelter was a perfect opportunity. Here you go, here you go. The shelter was a perfect opportunity for us to work together to do something and create something that we both believed in. And we both found love in animals. And we had both been praying, and our wishes came true. Oh so, you know, we didn't have, you know, things in common that maybe other people do. Like, we didn't, we weren't into sports or politics or drinking. And, you know, we didn't smoke or do drugs. <laughs> she likes to run around. <laughs> um, but we bonded over our love for dogs and making it a better place for animals. And you know what? We got married three weeks later. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a day when all your wishes came true. It did. <clears throat> I don't believe all this goody tissues. <laughs> life does not happen like that in real life. My husband, Bolt, and I, we met, we met in a bar and... He's still a loser. Yeah, well, you know, he can't keep a job. He's an alcoholic. He can't even pay our house payments. And now he's lost his phone to top things off. Well, I, I'm sorry that you're in a relationship like that. I, it sounds like you didn't have anything in common to begin with other than drinking and shared, shared problems, similar problems. I mean... You have to believe in something, you know, whether that's God, whether that's Jesus, whether that's people, something. 
and have some ambition in life and a church, a community. Like, I go to the church of the Holy Word and my minister shared with me Luke 18.1 and Matthew 17.20 and they work together to make all your wishes come true. Wow, sounds like you have a fairy tale. And, but you know, I feel like partners and mates have to have something in common. Most people go to bars because of troubles. Um, that's why they go to drink. It's a terrible idea, Miss Sedgway. You know, Tom and I, we don't go to bars. Instead, what we're doing is we're working to make the world a better place. We're opening up shelters all over town, and that's our future. And we're creating hope for animals everywhere that they can have loving homes. Trudy, you and Tom have found the answer that most people search for in their entire lifetime, building on your work together and creating a future together. It's like the purpose of life. Um, you are taking up where God left off in Genesis chapter 1. So good luck with your animal shelters. This is Pamela Bluewater for JNS Biblical Productions. Well, by the way, what are you going to call your animal shelters? Animal hate. Oh. Animal heaven for us all. This is Pamela Bluewater saying we should all work in the direction of creating heaven for all of us, like Trudy's example. Good afternoon. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the word of God through parables, true stories illustrating parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary. You can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.